Hello, welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to uh, upgrade or install a processor in your computer. And this is for the socket 775 or LJ 775 socket um, motherboard, which is now getting on a bit. But I just thought I'd do a video just in case some people are still wondering how to do it. It's very, it's very similar to most other processors and the most modern ones from Intel. Um, it works in the same way. Um, to do this, first of all, we need to remove the fan connector from down here, that one, that little connector here which connects to the CPU fan here and not to do that you just pull it up, just pull it up like that it comes out, then we need to remove these notches here, we need to turn them to the side so the arrow is facing and get, and get, and get, and get, no, not really, I'm going to have to do it on the next one but turn it um, anti-clockwise you can't do it using a screwdriver because there is a little bit of a notch do it on this one, this is easier. There you go, just turn it anti clockwise. This one's a bit of a pain. There you go. Like that, that goes around like that. And pull them out at the same time, just pull them slightly. And repeat that to, with all of them, like so. And you can move the heatsink from the bottom. Now you'll notice that the heatsink has got CPU thermal compound on both the CPU and the heatsink. We need to remove that before we put the processor in. Um, for the demonstration of this video, I'm just going to use the same CPU again, but it was the same principle if you got a different one, but for the same socket type. So just rub it off, but you meant you meant to use a denatured alcohol and stuff things like that, but I unfortunately don't have any, so I'm using tissue and it works just as well for me anyway, so I don't know how to use it, it's been working fine. I know you meant to, but uh, I haven't got any, so Never mind. So do the same again to uh, the CPU. Make sure to clean it very well. Uh -huh. We get all the grease off it like so. Being careful not to touch the CPU, we're going to now remove it from the socket. To do that, we need to push down on this lever here, push down and away towards you, sorry, and pull up like that, and it should you should just come up straight away. And then we need to remove this little flap. Just do that. Just get the corner of your finger. Well, get the corner of it like that and lift it up like so. Now we need to remove the CPU. This is the part where you don't want to touch the CPU. The actual at the top of the thing, otherwise you'll ruin the condu conductivity between the heatsink and the top of the processor. To do this we need to put um, get the notch parts here, as you'll notice on the part here, there's a slight notch there, and on that side there. This is where you can pick up the CPU easily, just do this, do it like that. Pick it up like that, like so, and then just place over there. And now, you put, now you've left with these very fragile pins which you cannot touch or damage because you will ruin them, we don't, we don't want to do that. So, in a simple way, is if you were going to put a CPU back in, we'll start off as if it was closed. Basically, you'd open it up, like I could have showed you, same way, push it back, open up like that, and open this up like this. Like so, and you grab the CPU again. Making sure to get it by the edges, and you would then place it into the socket, line it up with the gold pin there, as you can see on the side there, with and then the slight notch. Maybe I'll see there on the corner comparison because that's straight there. That's a straight corner. That's like a notch corner. That that arrow needs to be in line with that bit there, and you just plonk it in like that, and it should just drop straight in place. And then what you need to do next is you need to push this, put this cover down, gently like so, and you need to push down on this. Now you will feel a bit of tension, but that's just normal. You just push it all the way and push under, a little bit under towards you, and then underneath like that. And there you have it. That's how to install that part. Now we need to put the heatsink on. This is fairly easy. What we need to do now is you need to put the the thermal compound on, which you just get a little piece size, like so, and. Just put as mu a little bit onto the CPU, not onto both because you'll have too much. Like so. Now this is the bit where people can de you can decide which bit you want what you want to do because some people decide they will put the heat sink on and it will let it spread out themselves, while some people prefer to get 
a piece of card and spread it out uh, over the CPU which I am going to find a piece of card and we'll be back in a minute So now, now we've got the piece of card, what we're going to do is we're going to spread it across the, the surface of the CPU, which is fairly simple. All I need to do is make sure you get it across the surface of the CPU. So, scotch tape would be the best for all this, unfortunately I don't have any, so I can't use that either. I haven't got a lot of that. <laughs> anyway, just make sure you spread out into all the corners. Like that. It's quite tricky this. Bit where you've got to have it perfect. Now, as I said, it's up to you how you do it. If you want to, you can just have it just put the CPU heating on and it'll spread out, um, which I might do in a minute actually because it's starting to get a little bit, you know, all over the place. Um, basically, you do that, you spread it all out, but for this, I'm not going to do it because at the end of the day, I've done this lots of times to this computer, and this is just one of my computers I've just have laying around, it's nothing major, so I'm not bothered if the CPU's not, you know, brilliant. It still works anyway. But um, but if you were doing it, I'd recommend spread it out all the way around the corners, like this as well, all the way around. So the whole this surface here is covered um, by the CPU grease. Um, so there you go. Now the next bit is we need to put this heat sink on, and to do that we need to untwist these. Like so, they're turning like that. Now we need to do that to all four corners. Like so, and then we need to line up the fan connecting wire to where the CPU header, fan header, is on the motherboard, and that is down there. So to do that, we're going to locate the fan and sit it on top of the motherboard, and we're going to wiggle the part of the the, the the white bit here on the bottom of these fan of this fan heatsink into the little hole on the motherboard as you can see there. So you can slot it down. It should just fall straight in. If it doesn't you may need to move it around like I said. Um, it's easy with an Intel one but this one's just, just this, this is an OEM one so this is not as you know, it's not the actual one made by Intel as you can tell by the, 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 the colour. Not the colour sorry there make. So next you push down on each corner, one corner at a time, like that. And again. Should sound very good. And to double check, just push them again. That one did not go in. There. And now once that's done, you now need to connect it to the CPU fan together. So to do that, you need to grab the 4-pin bit here and you need to plug it into the 4-pin connector down here. Like so. You see? Like so. Push it all the way in. And there you have it. That is how to upgrade and install a socket 775. Um, CPU into your motherboard. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you very much.